Hello, John Talley here with PartZilla.com. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the front brakes on our 2015 Kawasaki KLX 110. Pretty simple procedure. Let me go grab a couple of tools and I'll show you how to get it done. Let's go over some of the tools we're going to need to get this little project done. First, just going to need a couple of different pairs of pliers, flat blade screwdriver, on the socket side, just an 8 millimeter and a 14, and uh, on your wrench side, a 14 millimeter and a 10. Also, to get that torque set correctly on the axle nut, you need a, a decent uh, torque wrench. Other than that, just a regular 3 8 ratchet, and that'll be all you need to get this done. All right, what we're going to do is go ahead and lift up the front of the motorcycle, just using a little scissor lift. If you don't own one of these, you need to buy one. You'll find reasons to use it. All right, before I do this, I want to go ahead and tell you all that what you're looking for is if you've already gone through your full range of adjustment here and up here, that typically means uh, the brake shoes need to be replaced. And on this particular machine, are they worn out? No. I mean, they're in fantastic shape. But I still want to go through the process to show you how to replace them if yours are worn out. So get that cotter pin out of the way. Then we want to take off this 14 millimeter bolt and that'll allow the axle to get pulled through. Then we can remove the front tire and get the hub out of there. All right, before you pull the axle out, I'm gonna go ahead and get that pinch bolt on that adjustment broken loose. And to give us some more play, take off this upper cable clamp. Let's go ahead and bring the adjuster all the way in. So what we're trying to accomplish is getting the cable actually off of the hub. Plus, if they're worn at all, or if yours are worn out, all this has to be readjusted anyway. Now, you can go ahead and run that lower bolt all the way off, bring it up, and then it just slides out of that channel. Swing it around, and we just lay it out of the way. All right, with that disconnected, we can go ahead and push our uh, axle through. and drop that front wheel out. Want to make sure you don't lose the spacer. And then it just lifts straight out. Now, as I, I told y'all in the beginning of this, I mean, these, these pads are, are hardly worn at all. I mean, you can look at the difference in between a brand new pair and this. They may have been worn maybe 10% of the way through, so there was still a lot of life left in these. However, if you pulled it apart and this surface area was not there, it was all the way down to the metal, well, then yeah, they need to be replaced. But I'm still going to go through the motions and install these new ones. So you'll be able to do so. All right, these springs are a little tricky. What you want to do is just pull out on them as you're pulling up and then walk it off like that. Next, let's get these springs off. and get them on the new brake shoes. Make sure that your ends are similar. So it has that little opening right there. These are flat, want those to match up. That last one's always the tough one. Like that. Now let's go ahead and get them stretched back over our hub. Just like that. Now putting it, uh, putting it back together is just the reverse of what we did to take it apart. So. Make sure your space is still in place. Lay your hub in. The real trick here is when you lift it up, put the axle in, you need to make sure that this section right here aligns with that part of the fork. Then just push it through. All right, let's go ahead and put on our uh, axle nut. I'm just going to do it somewhat hand tight, get things started. We're going to grab our torque wrench 
and then we're going to set it to 32 foot-pounds. There you go. Next, let's go ahead and get your brake cable routed back through. Uh, first, run it all the way down, get it into that arm, then back in. So before we tighten that down, kind of leave it loose for right now. All right, with that in place, let's go ahead and uh, get this little clamp back on. And I was putting that cable back in place. It is absolutely imperative that you adjust this all the way up to get it to stretch back in there with a new set of brake pads. Let's go ahead and zero that all the way in. And we're gonna adjust this back out to give us our starting point. That's about where we want it, because it's engaging right here. That's about all the play that you want. That's set. Go ahead and hit that uh, lock nut at the bottom. Check one more time. that in place. I'm just put that dust cover over it. Alright, with that adjusted correctly, last thing we need to do is get this little cotter pin back in place. Alright. Well, that wraps up this little project. Well, listen, if you need any of the parts that we use to do this, come see us at partzilla.com and we can get you taken care of. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Until next time, we just want to say thanks for watching.